My name is Scott Abrams. I'm the museum director of the Colonial Quarter here in St. Augustine. But around here, my name is Grimm, a 28-year veteran of the stage. Now I play tour guide. Finally found a gig that pays the bills. Well, welcome to St. Augustine. Welcome to the Colonial Quarter. As I'm sure you're all aware by now, this is three centuries of colonial history. Two and a half acres of awesome. It's a whole lot to take in, and we want to make sure that nobody misses anything. So, now, all this work that our blacksmith is doing, he's not doing out of the goodness of his heart. It's his job. You know that phrase, strike when the iron is hot? That's a literal statement, especially in this salt air. Five, 400 degrees. When you put the beeswax on it, it's gonna burst into flame. Another pirate shows up with the name of Robert Searles. A very interesting story. He sneaks into the south of town. Marches up St. George Street, whizzing by my head. Cannonballs are landing at my feet. All my friends are laying around taking a nap. But against all odds, I'm still alive. Let's try one more time. Bah! Once we get good at it, we should do that two or three times in a minute. Move it. An absolute unit. No idea. Bad idea, bad idea. We're Americans. <laughs> we don't even know how to vote. Who's Al Gore? Punch a hole. Punch a hole. <laughs> Flags over St. Augustine. Almost every flag that has officially flown over the city in the last 500 years. Brace yourself. We're about to move through history relatively quick. A little closer. A little closer now. Trust me, I've done this before. You're going to need the head start. Deep breath. Try to keep up. This is the flag flown by Ponce de Leon, 11513. The flag flown by Pedro Menendez, 11565. We don't have the flag that flourished in August for the one week Sir Francis Drake was here burning us to the ground. With the flag of the British period, the flag of the second Spanish period, we did become part of the United States till 1821, it was state till 1845. Twism state, twism star. The thing Civil War, Florida was a Confederate state, there was two separate Confederate flags that flew over the city of St. Augustine. Here's our current Florida flag and the current flag of the United States of America. You just traveled through 500 years of history, three centuries of colonial St. Augustine, and survived! You deserve a round of applause. Historically accurate and full of energy, I do that five times a day. Somebody's got to do it.